In this video, we will demonstrate the generation of face groups by using their proximity to other meshes. For this tutorial, we will start with STL files developed for the Multis project. Our goal will be to create a few groups, some of which that might be difficult to select by the freehand selection tool. In order to use the proximity selection feature, click on the proximity button on the selection toolbar or with the face selected, it can be found on the Operations tab as Proximity Feature. Selecting by proximity requires a source, a target, and the distance. The resulting selection will be on the source mesh. If the distance given does not include any of the source mesh, the output message will give a range of distance that were found between the target and the source. If the selection isn't quite right, adjust the distance or include the angle threshold. While it is relatively simple to use freehand selection to create this group between the probe and the flesh surface, it is more difficult to select the inner surface of the flesh where it is in contact with the bone. This is where the proximity selection tool is quite useful. Adjusting the opacity allows us to see the selection when it isn't on the outer surface. The proximity selection when limited by angle quickly selects those elements in close contact. See other videos on this channel for other methods of selection.